Today I visited a website called framer.com and while I was scrolling down I saw my cursor change into this icon or this different cursor basically and there are multiple effects happening around here but the one that stood out for me is the cursor for example if I scroll down you could see that this is how the cursor looks in their application you could see so I found it very cool that they showcased how their mouse would look like and how it would feel to uh, move around the dashboard. They also have some hotspot but I'll make another video for hotspot and we are simply going to learn how we can create this uh, cursor effect that is around here and it's very easy to do just one code and that's all. So for this one I'm using Elementor but it would work for any other page builder or just simple coding too. So even if you're not using any page builder and just are doing some coding, it would still work. Okay, so in this page, what I've done is I've created like a very basic looking uh, page. And this is the application that we want our mouse to change on. We got our text called DM Motion Art SAS app, a small text. And this is the app where we want our transition to happen or that a mouse should show. So basically what we need to do is this is the code that I'm going to give you guys. And it's very simple, but... For example, uh, in this code, you could see that we actually have a setting call, not setting, but a text called URL. And inside of this, we will just add our URL. So how can we add our URL? Basically, wherever you have stored your image, just go into that section. So for example, right now I'm using Elementor or WordPress basically. So mine is stored in this URL. So just find your cursor like this. And you can see I created this cursor, which is like, 123 by 37 now as much as i know that sometimes if you make the uh, text or this image way too big it does not shows up it might only be the issue in wordpress so make sure it is smaller and obviously we need to have it smaller in size like this don't make it too big sometimes it just doesn't work and basically once you have uploaded it just find the file url and simply just paste it between the url so that's it is just an png image that will show on our mouse like this so let me go in here and basically you can type your custom css so i'm going to go in here and type my custom css and here you could see it starts working very nicely now if you now based on whatever you are using this is how it would work but there's an issue right now that it is working for whole website you could see and that's simply because we are using body tag and basically body is like complete website kinda but body is where our whole website is so this is showing the cursor to everything so we want only the cursor to show around here so let's go into our advanced and give it a css class called dm cursor you could give it any name but i'm giving it dm cursor also this one does require custom css so if you don't have elementor pro the link is in description so you could buy it and if you use the link in description i get a small commission and you're not paying anything extra you're just paying the same amount but elementor just gives me a small commission for referencing you to here and that way you could support me to earn more or, or to make more videos like this and earn more because youtube does not pay me yet so what we are simply going to do is in this one we have given dm cursor now you can give it to anything you could give it to text or anything that you want any element just give it a css class let's copy it and instead of body let's type dot and then that stuff or whatever the css class it is so let's copy it and let's add it around here now you could add it anywhere on the site uh, it would still work and let's see how this goes so right now this is the live page and you could see nothing's happening so i just up updated it let's refresh it and look how cool this looks it changes my mouse to that design that we just made and it looks pretty nice you could see it's similar to that one they do have a, a scale up effect but that would probably require javascript and that's this one is like the easier way which is just css to add it like this so yeah that's all very simple effect and pretty nice makes your website look even more professional so yeah consider subscribing and liking for more tutorials like this